I'm going to show you how to access Spire. Then I'm going to walk through the interface and just show you the different sections of Spire and then how to access your classes, courses and unit pages. So the first thing we're going to do is go to a web browser and type in the URL. Use Edge, Chrome, whatever you want. Now up in here just type spire.terrace.qld.edu.au now when I do that, because I've been in here a number of times, it takes me straight in. But for you, you're going to have to sign in. So let me just show you what it looks like. If I go to incognito and type in the Spire, it's going to pop up with this and you're going to have to put in your email address. So your S number, your student number is your Terrace email. So it would be S something. Uh, so mine for staff is our name. But again, that terrace.qld.edu.au. So yours would just have the S, the S with your student number at terrace.qld.edu.au. Hit next. Then put your Terrace password in there, the one that you get into all of your Microsoft products and Google. That, that combination of your email address and your password gets you into all of our services at school. And once you've hit that password, just hit sign in and it'll take you then to the Spire homepage. The dashboard is what this is called. Now, this is my dashboard. It might look a teacher dashboard, which might look a little bit different to yours. Um, so over on the side here, we have this side menu. And as you probably saw, what you can do is use this little pin here and unpin the side menu. I like to have it unpinned because I like to have more real estate here. But again, we've got this uh, hamburger menu here. So if you click on that, that will bring it back. And again, you can see the pins empty. So if you click on that, it makes it solid and you can pin that back in there. But there might be some important links and you can add your own links in there as well. So it's up to you whether you want to keep that pinned or unpinned. Um, totally up to you. Uh, a more important set of icons are the ones across the top here. These are your everyday links that you want to get to. It doesn't matter where you are in Spire, you can always get to these um, icons. So we'll go through those in a minute. Uh, this this button here, this circle, the Spire logo, is a home button. So it doesn't matter where you are, if you click on that, it'll take you home. You can see the dashboard here has a timetable. That's the first thing that you should see, and that's today's timetable. Again, you can click on this to go to your class page. Uh, this is a teacher view, so I can mark the role there as well. The other view, the other things on this dashboard are these um, tiles here. Now let me just change and show you a student view. Here's at the moment you haven't got a timetable there because this student doesn't actually properly exist. Um, and I'll open up these and show you the sort of links that they've got. So student forms, campion textbooks, um, IT help, and then you can add your own links in there later. You can see this little button here to show you how to do it. Um, but I don't want that there. So pastoral care, they'll take you to a few things here. The houses as well, you can go and click on the house and see what's in the house area there as well. Again, there are breadcrumbs here and you can see these breadcrumbs can take me back to uh, the pastoral care page or when in doubt, if you get lost, just click on this spire and that'll bring you back to your home page, your dashboard here. And you can see that there's some information they put up over here, some carousels, and there might be news headlines as well. Um, and you might have something in your calendar, depending on uh, who you are. But you can see up here, uh, that takes you to the student cafe. That takes you outside of here. And if you click on that, you can see a new tab opens, and it takes you to TAS, where you can sign into TAS there. Classes. Uh, I might just switch back to me so that you can see what it does. When you click on classes, it actually takes you to your, your class pages. 
And once you click on that, so my Year 9 Digitech class, they click on that, this is where I'm going to have information about what we're going to do in the first, um, first term. So today I want you to do this and there'll be a video and, and all that sort of stuff. As you can see, I haven't set this up yet, but that's what staff are doing over the next couple of weeks. Um, so that's, you can get two ways of getting to your classes, either with this classes button or down here in your um, timetable. You can click on these and it'll take you straight to that class page. Now the other important area, so that's that class page is the day to day. This is what we're doing today. Here's where you can upload an assignment or upload classwork. But what are we actually doing in the course? That's where you can go to the courses page. And if you go to the studies tile, you come to the studies page here, and then you've got this course outline. You can see that there are other things here. You might not be able to see these because this is a teacher's view. Um, but you might see careers, that sort of thing. Click on course outline and go to the faculty. So I'm going to go to biz tech and I'm going to go to digital technologies here and I'm going to go to year 10 and this is our unit page. This is what we're studying this year. So it's got some information about what digital technologies is and then you can see over here I've got four units which is basically term one, term two, term three, term four. Uh, there's some assessment stuff here about the criteria and information, um, who actually teaches it, that sort of thing. Okay, each teacher has done a little bit different for their subjects. So unit one, this is actually what we're studying in term one. So again, I've got this outline of the weeks and the programs, and I've got these topic pages. So the first thing we're going to do, the first topic is data types and variables. And if I go to that page... I've got information here and I've got some challenges and I think I've got videos and stuff there as well on how to do stuff. So have a look around these pages, these topic pages. Now for mine, if you click on the banner, it takes you back one or you can use the breadcrumbs. So I can go back to unit one or I can go back to E10 Digitech and go look at unit two, nothing there yet. Or go back to digital technologies, go back to business tech, back to course outlines, and then I can go and look at uh, mathematics. Go and have a look at uh, maybe grade 10. There's the course outline. This is what we're doing in term one. And here's the term one stuff here as well in there. So that's the courses. So the courses is where you can find a lot of information. The class page is where you talk to your teacher about this, this information about they might want you to upload stuff from here as well. Um, there's always a library. You can get to the library page on here. There's a calendar which tells you where all your classes and when things are on. Um, also, when teachers start putting assessment items, they'll appear in here as well. Your timetable. This is my timetable in here that will appear in there as well. So just have a bit of a look around. Um, obviously, you've got a link to your OneDrive. It drops you out and takes you to your OneDrive where you're going to sign in. Uh, again, webmail is there as well. So you can go to your Outlook. Uh, just switch back to Student View. Here we go. You've got things like due work. So that'll actually tell you and list all of the due work that you've got and when it's due, uh, when teachers start putting their due work in here. Um, what else? News, that's probably coming. News um, and notifications. This bell over here, this notifications, that's something that's going to develop over the next six to 12 months where instead of getting emails, you might get notifications in here. So really important every day, first thing you do, come to Spire and check your notifications um, and go to your class pages and check what your teacher wants you to do today. That's pretty much what you'll do. Sign in, go to your classes, and go, right, what am I doing today in nine? I've got Digitech first period. Okay, teachers outlined this work for me to do. I hope this has been helpful.